Welcome back. In the previous video, we set up the foundations of representations and, and we talked about how there are different approaches to handle the raw tick data so that we can extract the most possible alpha from the data we actually have. In this video, I will walk you through how, starting from the most primitive data format, we can analyze and actually squeeze the data up until it gives us informative features and signal. Just for you to know, in my daily research and work, I focus very heavily on the data preprocessing steps of my quant R&D process and get much more value of it than just from the modeling steps. So I challenge you to, to do the same with me here. It's not just me, but every data science competitor, for example, in Kaggle, for example, argues that they actually devote a huge amount of time to understand the secrets that the data can unveil. So let's begin. If you haven't checked out the previous video to this one, I recommend that you visit that prior to continuing with this analysis to better understand what's coming next. So I will put some references uh, in this video so that you can just directly ask, access that. If you recall, I presented how I define representations, how the threshold is set up, and how I approach the market information framework in a generalized way. Let's return to the foundations now. For us to have all the possible information, there is no doubt that we should start from tick data. I will leave aside here the order book for the moment. And tick data can come into two flavors. The first one is the best bid and offer data, commonly known as uh, BBO. Ticks with their prices and their size. And the second one is the transactional data, commonly known as time and sales. Having all the possible information in the sense of tick data doesn't mean that all the information will finally become signal. In this video, I will be using BBO data to create our representations. Some of you might be thinking that we are, why we are not using times and sales data. Transactional data can give very good insights because that is how market participants interact realistically with the market. As you might know, and if not, you can check this and these other videos. We are near to include all the interactive brokers environment to DarkWinX, so be sure that I will revisit these tutorials very soon to extract more alpha and be sure to stay tuned for that. To approach how to generate representations, we need to keep in mind that each market participant interaction with the markets is not time dependent. That is, my trading decisions are not really determined in most cases by a specific time or fixed recurring interaction. Instead, they are intention dependent and I want to trade when an opportunity arises and not taking into account if it happens on a determined timestamp. Even if my interactions are somehow time dependent, for example when volatility is expected for news or maybe opening bells, I want to measure the activity that it's going on to analyze if I will be in the right direction on the following move when I make my trading decision. Furthermore, as a trader, I want volatility so that I can profit from it. And from a risk perspective, I want that to happen as fast as possible to reduce my time exposure to risk. As that interaction is heterogeneous and dynamic, we also need to account for that in our representation. So let me illustrate this with an example in this slide. Suppose that you have a momentum strategy that suffers from flat regime periods. If you have a cleverly developed representation that accounts for less activity in terms of volume and price action, for example, uh, let's you could create a mixed range volume bars with two parameters as the price movement threshold and the volume threshold and base your decision making on the interaction between the two. You could filter a lot of that non-informative behavior and maybe trade less during those periods so that the strategy doesn't suffer that much. Let's jump onto the code in the following video to see how this is implemented in reality in the different data structures. <laughs> 